In this session, I will introduce the matching functionality we have in BioStrange for finding subsequences in other sequences. This is something that's being used a lot nowadays. It's exactly what all the short read aligners do, uh, such as Bowtie or Mac. If you really have millions of short reads, I would still recommend using a dedicated short read aligner, such as Bowtie or Mac, or one of the many other choices. But Sometimes it can be incredibly convenient to be able to match a smaller set of sequences to the genome. So let's start off by getting a genome and a string. I'm going to load the yeast genome version 2, and I'm going to have a small little DNA string here that we're going to print on the screen. So there's a number of functions for matching strings in BioStrings. There's matching a string to a string, matching a set of strings to one string, matching one string to a set of strings, and matching a set of strings to a set of strings. That sounds very fancy and has something to do with the computational efficiency. Matching a, uh, a single string to a single string is something we do with match pattern. And we take uh, our sequence and then we uh, now have to take a specific yeast genome because we are, uh, we are mapping a single string against a single string. We get a single hit on this uh, particular uh, 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 DNA string. And, um, and um, the return object is something called a views that looks very much like a DNA string set. We will discuss views in a different session. Whenever we have a match function, there's also a count function that just counts how many matches we have. Now, most of the time, you're not interested in matching up against a single chromosome. You're really interested in matching up against uh, a set of chromosomes. And for that, we have V match pattern. V match pattern matches uh, one sequence against a set of sequences. Now the return object is the G ranges, and there's a couple of interesting things here. First of all, there's hits on both the forward and the reverse strand. We didn't get that with the match pattern. The match pattern didn't take and also search, it didn't search both the forward and the reverse strand of the object. We do that here. Secondly, we see in the output that for every hit on the forward strand, we have a hit on the reverse strand, and that seems a little weird. Now, that turns out because we have a weird sequence. The DNA, the DNA sequence we are searching for turns out to be its own reverse complement. We can check that by asking is DNA seq equal to reverse complement of itself, and we get true. And that's why whenever we have a hit on the forward strand, we have a hit in the same location on the reverse strand. This is not an error. Finally, uh, we can. Uh, th there's a set of function called match pdict that uh, takes, that builds, a, it's called PTIC for dictionary. It takes a set of sequences such as short reads of the same length. It builds a dictionary on them, and then it matches them up against uh, the full genome. Both match PTIC and match pattern and vmatch pattern uh, 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 allows uh, a small set of mismatches and allows intels, and is a very fast and efficient way of searching the genome for uh, small sequences. There's another set of uh, matching procedures in Bioconductor uh, that are a little bit more uh, esoteric, but can be very useful when you need it. There's something called MATS PVM, or Position Weight Matrix. For people in the know, a Position Weight Matrix is also known as a sequent logo, or uh, a transcription factor binding uh, motif. Uh, and details uh, a probabilistic representation of a short sequence. Match PVM allows us to search the genome, for example, for binding size for a given transcription factor. Then we have a function called pairwise alignment. Pairwise alignment implements a classic uh, pairwise alignment algorithm uh, that's known in computational biology, either a global pairwise alignment uh, or a local pairwise alignment like a Smith-Waterman or Needleman-Wunsch uh, uh, type algorithm. 
and it actually allows to map millions of reads against a short sequence such as a gene. Uh, it turns out that these local and global alignment routines using dynamic programming uh, are, are impossible to use when you map up against the entire genome, but they are still very useful even if you have millions of reads, as long as you align them up to a very small uh, 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 section of the genome that could, for example, be a, a gene. This is uh, underutilized, I would say. I could see uh, a lot of interesting uh, applications of this uh, idea. Finally, there's a function called um, trim, LR pattern for patterns, for trimming off uh, specific patterns on the left and the right of uh, a set of, DNA, of a DNA strain set. The use case here is trimming off sequence adapters, but trim LR patterns has a very rich set of functionality, allowing intels and mismatches in the sequence adapters, uh, and yeah, can be useful for this.